Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To begin our celebration today on this uh, Fat Tuesday, this uh, Mardi Gras, this uh, Carnival, uh, three names for the same thing, the, the last day of ordinary time before we begin our season of Lent tomorrow. Uh, let's prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament. Take a moment of quiet reflection, look for those moments of grace and thank God for his gifts. Looking also for moments of our own sins, we seek God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Genesis. When the Lord saw how great was man's wickedness on earth, and how no desire that his heart conceived was ever anything but evil. He regretted that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was grieved. So the Lord said, I will wipe out from the earth the men whom I have created, and not only the men, but also the beasts and the creeping things and the birds of the air, for I am sorry that I made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone in this age, I have found favor to be true or just. Of every clean animal, take with you seven pairs, a male and its mate, and of the unclean animals, one pair, a male and its mate. Likewise, of every clean bird of the air, seven pairs, a male and a female, and of all the unclean birds, one pair, a male and a female. Thus you will keep their issue alive over all the earth. Seven days from now, I will bring rain down on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. The word of the Lord. Amen. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, watch out. Guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves that it was because they had no bread. When Jesus became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? 
Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? Do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000? How many wicker baskets full of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, 12. When I broke the seven loaves for the 4,000, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, seven. Jesus said to them, do you still not understand? The gospel of the Lord. The first reading from the book of Genesis, um, the beginning of one of the, uh, the great captivating stories of scripture, um, one that's captured people's imagination to this day, uh, the story of Noah's Ark. Um, there have been many, 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 many uh, expeditions over uh, thousands of years going to look for the remains of that big boat. Um, uh, one of the evangelical churches even built a full-scale replica of it uh, uh, as part of, a, I guess, a spiritual amusement park. Um, to, to come and visit it, to just uh, uh, be awestruck by it. Um, uh, and the story of the flood is itself a dramatic one. And it's, uh, uh, well, Moses, who's the nominal author of the book of Genesis, um, uh, was not a great world traveler lived in a relatively small piece of the world um, uh, and was uh, you know, telling the story of what he knew what went on where he is in parts of the world that you'd have no reason to think that anyone from the Middle East would know about in their own histories they'll pass on stories about some time of a great flood um, uh, people like to put all those stories together and say yes it truly was a time when water covered the whole earth. And in fact, uh, you, know, you look at climatologists, so they can take you through timelines and they'll show you that uh, the whole earth had a big ball of ice uh, around it. And that, uh, uh, it was after that, that ice started to, to melt and recede that uh, things happened. Uh, like that big lake we have out, uh, out here was carved from uh, some of the glaciers left over from that big freeze. Uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years ago. Um, and so there's, there's some note of historicity to it, and yet there's something far beyond the, the historical uh, story that, that, that makes it so compelling uh, to us today. And that's because it, it, it's a real foreshadowing of something to come in the, the time of Jesus and something that continues to happen to us. Um, uh, the flood uh, looked at a world that was evil, uh, covered with sin and corruption, and God decided to, to wash it clean. Um, uh, the, death, the water brought death to all that was evil, but out of that water came new life uh, and a renewed covenant with God. Uh, and you see the bow in the sky, um, uh, a symbol of this covenant that there will never again be destruction uh, on that scale from water. Um, what is it alluding to? Um, well, we go from the, the really big, the macro, to the relatively small, and that's the, the individual flood that each one of us is undergone. That's called our baptism. Um, uh, baptism takes away sin and corruption. Um, the original sin of Adam and Eve, and uh, as I like to call them, all the unoriginal sins that we've continued to commit uh, after that first creative moment of, of, uh, of evil by Adam and Eve. Um, everything that we can do. If you're an infant, you have original sin washed away. 
uh, babies don't have a chance to do anything other than that that's sinful. Once we reach the age of even, we can begin making choices, but we begin making bad ones. Um, but if you're an adult or a young adult um, presenting yourself for baptism, all of those are washed away. Um, the, and that's the image that there is in baptism, but uh, uh, going into the water uh, is a, a symbol for death. Um, but coming out of it is a symbol of, of new life. Um, it's, uh, it's being born again, is uh, you know, the, the way Christians refer to it. Um, uh, just as an, an infant comes forth in the, the, the amniotic fluid, the water in their mother's womb. Uh, into life, we come to new life. Um, and so as we, uh, we listen to the story of Noah and the, uh, the parade of animals, two by two, uh, keep in mind that that's, uh, that's a story uh, that's, that's part of our sacred scripture to remind us of the, 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 the little floods uh, that each one of us has been blessed to have. Uh, it has washed away the sin and corruption uh, of our souls and given us uh, new birth, uh, new life into to God's once again pristine creation. Let's gather our prayers and bring them before our God. Begin with a prayer for peace in our world. As for God's spirit of peace to touch the minds and hearts of all men and women. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for our church in gratitude for God's word and God's sacrament. We pray a special gratitude for our own baptisms. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our nation, ask that God watch over it, uh, bless those burdened with governance with his wisdom, and God protect all of those charged with our safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our schools, uh, uh, continue the mission of Jesus who called himself a teacher. We pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mr. Schrift's mother-in-law who passed away. Um, bring comfort to his, his wife and, and family. Um, and, and that God welcome her to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Pray for the repose of the soul of Father uh, uh, Paul Maggie and, and Father uh, Connor. That uh, God may welcome them uh, to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we come before you, bringing you our hopes and desires. Those who've given voice, others held silently in our hearts, but all of them offered to you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, on God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the gift of the earth, it is the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities. Pray, my sisters and mothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Amen. 
May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and to you again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior is commanded and formed by divine teaching. Let's raise our voices in the prayer taught to us by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.